Hi, I'm Kenny Loggins, and we're going to talk about following your dreams uh, and when you know it's a, a valid a challenge or when it's fear-based. <laughs> Well, the big question is really uh, how to distinguish the voice of your heart, or is this a dream or is this a wild hair? You know, is this a fantasy that uh, is going to take you out of your life, or a dream that's going to take you deeper into your life? And uh, it's always a difficult question, and, and opens the floor to a lot of dialogue. Um, for me. Uh, one of the things I use is, does this thought, does the feeling of pursuing this dream, or, or even just this uh, intuitive sense of something, does it make me feel lighter? Versus, does the thought of continuing on the path I'm on feel lighter or heavier? If I feel weighed down by it, if I feel like there's no creativity there, then I know that's a place I have to leave. Where is my creativity? Where is the joy? Where is the fun? Where's the idea of something that sparks a sense of excitement in me? Um, that to me is a compass for what what will work. Um, the the there is no easy answer to that question. You really have to answer it for yourself. You know what feels like an authentic dream. Um, what gets in the way of that answer is your own um, unfinished work. In other words, if you have a lot of inner critic voices working on you all the time, you're going to have a difficult time sensing what's an authentic dream and whether or not to make that leap of faith and go for it. Uh, because all those voices are going to be telling you that you're not adequate, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't achieve what it is you're dreaming. Um, the best thing to do is unearth those voices, identify who's who, whose voices are they really, and whether or not they have any valid control over your life, or whether you're ready to be a, a more of a heart-based, uh, uh, what I mean by that is uh, we have a choice. Uh, you either follow the mind, which is egocentric, and is going to come up with plenty of reasons why you can't do what you're dreaming of, or you follow your heart and put your mind in service to that. So if your heart goes, I really want to be whatever, fill in here, your mind's job is to figure out how to do that. But if you have things backwards, your heart, your mind is always going, you can't do that, you've got to put food on the table, you can't do that, you're not smart enough, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. And, and that'll go on indefinitely until you change the regime and figure out how to let your heart lead and your mind follow.